So this is Lance and I'm back with another video. So we're back here over at Audio Toys. Doing, um, did some work on this Ford Raptor. Um, this is an old school one, uh, 2012, 2013. So what we're gonna do with this one here is uh, we tapped into the original OEM radio and we did um, everything, grabbed everything from the factory amp, the factory amp underneath the center console. We already got the truck back together. And so what we did was we ran all the wires to the back of this vehicle. We got everything back here. So we got the Addison 4300, four channel, which we're gonna bridge to the mid base drivers and the doors. Another four channel run the rear and the tweeter. And then we're gonna the SR 1500 an Audison Bit Nove. So people always ask, okay, um, out of the DSPs out there, uh, as far as Audison goes, um, the Bit Nove is, in my opinion, a step up from the Bit 10. So if you have a Bit 10 or Bit 10D, um, the D is kind of cool because it's digital, but they don't want to make it. Um, if I wanted to upgrade, I would go to this, the Bit Nove. Why I would go to the Bit Nove is because it has six channels of input with a built-in um, speaker simulator which allows you to plug into any of the factory audio packages that require load resistance this one gives it resistance on the on the input and then it also has an auxiliary it also has a drc and two optical inputs so you can run a zen module or an external um unit that has optical in and that's that, that's really cool from that standpoint and it also has nine channels of output so in this case we're doing two-way front we're active rear field and a factory sub out and as you can see we had all the wires here tighten them all up and as you can see some of the speaker wires aren't hooked up right now for the reason is um, um, when it comes down to it we're gonna have to um, set up the gains set up the inputs and then work our way backwards so hang tight i'm gonna set up the inputs first with the test track but i gotta test the inputs as well but we'll go from there all right peace so we went and set up the dsp for the inputs and the outputs now we're going to check um uh, we set up the inputs and now we also set up the outputs as far as setting we set the gains i set the gains and then also uh i wired up all the speakers all the subs everything so now we have all the wirings wired up to the amp we're going to tighten this up when we're all done but we first got to check um polarity so all the wires up wires up using ferrules and all that stuff so now we got to go through and check each individual speaker before we check uh balance so we'll go ahead and check every speaker first for input so we'll use our trusty polarity checker turn it on so it'll be green, green, red. That speaker's good. Oop, right front one's out of phase. Okay, that one's in phase. This one here. That speaker in phase. So all the speakers are in phase except the front right one. So now all we gotta do is go back and change the wiring on the right front speaker and go double check that phase, make sure it's in good, and we're good to go. So we switch the wires on the freaker speaker now and we go back and check it in phase with the face sucker. Everything's in phase. So now we gotta check to make sure that the balance is right. So we'll make sure the balance is right as well.
My voice should appear to come from a single point at the far left of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. My voice should appear to come so, from a single point in the center of your sound stage. You hear the right front my location is not right. should be exact and clearly focused. So all we gotta do is change the RCA. No from part there. of my voice should appear to come from the left or the right channel. My voice should appear to come from a single point at the far right of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. So let's change the tweeters first. My voice should appear to, the to come from a single point at the far left of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. My voice should appear to come from a single point in the center of your sound stage. My location should be exact and clearly focused. No part and I know of the my rear, I can hear that one was out of balance. The right channel. Fate was wrong, so we switched the RCAs. My voice should appear to come from a single point at the far right of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. My voice should appear to come from a single point at the far left of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. My voice should appear to come from a single point in the center of your sound stage. My location should be exact and clearly focused. No part of my voice should appear to come from the left or the right channel. My voice should appear to come from a single point at the far right of your sound stage. My location should be exact and well focused. My voice should appear to come from a single point. At now the it's time to move on to the tuning stage part of it. My location so we'll break should out be the exact bit tune and well focused. And go from there. All right. My yeah, voice I gotta should set it all up. So it might take me about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Center of your sound stage. The sun's right in my face. My location should the be exact right and clearly focused. So we got to set no up the No part of my voice tune. should appear to come from the left car, or the right channel. I think I got to set up the subs too. My voice should appear in. to come from a single point so, at the far so right of your well sound stage. All good my location right. should be exact and well focused. So we're going to first start off by calibrating the mic on the bit 10. So we got the bit 10 uh, five um, mic uh, RTA piece here that judge that sets up the um the signals and we got the bit tune here hooked up to everything we got the rcas plugged in so we're going to launch the bit tune software what we're going to first do is calibrate the mic so hopefully we get it all squared away here oh maybe i should plug it in ha Half the battle, plugging it in. Let's close this down, relaunch again. Ox in. I'm gonna first do level check. Right, we're gonna skip this part here. Well, actually, no. Let's calibrate the mics first. Let's do this. Put the mic in the one position. Now we move the mic to position two. Hit start. Hurry up. Mic position three. Hit start. Hurry up. Mic position four.
Alright, hurry up. Set mic to position six. Start. Hurry up. Mic is calibrated. Move it back to position three. Well, let's do level check. So it already did its thing. I'm gonna put it on lance one. Hard process. Save on B, hit okay. Okay, then finish. And then all I'm gonna do is finalize. I want to export now. I just want to exit. Nope, I don't want to do that. Nope, I don't want to say yes, title any changes. All set up. So now we go back in, look at any changes. So it's got everything in here. I can go back in and read just everything that I want, which I'll do. And then I'll give you a, what the EQ curve looks like when it's all said and done. Okay. Now everything's in, set up and boxes in, the back seat's gotta go back in. But everything's all tuned, it's ready to go. Amps are mounted, everything's set. Two um, Audison Prima 10s in the box. And here we'll just play it play a track. We got good bass. Good we got good bass.
cars, hammers, pretty good for setup. Once again, Audison setup in his truck, Hertz speakers, um, two-way active, coax in the rear, three amplifiers, one DSP, bam, done.